Hello, my lovelies! So, there has been a recent development in my future plans, which at this point really should su shouldn't surprise me, but still continues to knock the wind out of me. Um, so, the way that my career goals have changed over the course of the last two years was that my original goal was that I wanted to be a nurse. That was my be-all, end-all. I wanted to be a nurse since I was seven years old. I had worked and worked and worked for years and years and years uh, in order to achieve that goal. Um, I had trouble reaching that goal for a very long time because my grades weren't quite where they needed to be. And that was because I was suffering from my dysautonomia and apparently CSF leaks as well. Um, so I had problems with cognitive issues and things like memory and that sort of thing. So it made that goal more difficult than it should have been. Um, and then when I got diagnosed with dysautonomia, it was, you'll never work again. So for a while I thought that was my future. And then I got better and I decided that no, I was going to work and I was still going to be a nurse, um, but that I would do the CNA program first and work as a CNA for a while. And if I worked as a CNA and that worked out, I would still be a nurse. Um, and then back in September, I passed out twice at work. And so I realized maybe CNA wasn't going to work out. And then when I met my CSF leak doctor, he confirmed that, yes, I cannot be a CNA, but I also can no longer be a nurse because I have a weight limit of 20 pounds for the rest of my life. Uh, because if I left more than 20 pounds, I can tear the dura and therefore create another leak. And so that particular restriction has been really really tough because you have you don't realize how many things are 20 pounds you know uh, lifting two gallons of milk is you know around 14 pounds you know a six month old child is 20 pounds you're you know if your trash is really really full it's 20 pounds so I have felt the most restricted because of that and you're gonna be in my way again um, and so that weight limit has really messed with my career path. And so it went from I'm going to be a nurse to I'm not going to be anything at all to I'm going to be a CNA first to you can't be a CNA, you can't be a nurse. And so I thought, well, you know, I still want to be in the medical field. I still want to deal with patients. Maybe I should try rad tech or radiologic technologist. And that looked really interesting, and I liked the science of it. And so I did a shadow on Saturday. And in the beginning, I was really excited. I'm like, wow, this is really cool. This would be such a fun job. And then I realized how much lifting and pushing it required. Um, we had to do an x-ray on an intubated patient, which is a dead weight patient and this woman was on the overweight side so we really were lifting dead weight which was far beyond 20 pounds so I was unable to do it and then we had someone who was fully ambulatory but was also slightly overweight or a little bit more than overweight and so she couldn't lift her own legs onto the bed and so it was up to us to lift them back on and I would say that her legs dead weight the way that they were was over 20 pounds and so I was quickly realizing that this may not even be a thing and so I spoke to several different um, rad techs throughout the day and I asked them the same question I have this weight limit is there any way to work around it and absolutely everyone told me no they said well maybe you could do ultrasound but even that's a little iffy and uh, someone flat out told me, no, they won't hire you because they have to be able to cover themselves by saying that I'm capable of lifting 35 pounds or more. Um, 
And so I got no, 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 hell no. And oh, by the way, we won't hire you if you try. And so I went in to the day super excited, super um, just wanting to move on and go to the next stage of my life because I feel like I've been in this constant push-pull, you know, three steps forward, two steps back, over and over and over again when it comes to my career. Um, and so I was really happy that I was making forward progress and, and so when everyone told me, yeah, no, that's not gonna work, it was absolutely crushing because I'm taking a full course of classes in order to get into um, the Rad Tech program and I paid 70 US dollars to take a test that's required for it and you know here I am I am in the Rad 101 class and I have a full course of classes to go into the Rad Tech program and I've paid for the HESI exam for the program and I can't use any of it. There's no way. There's absolutely no way I can work around the weight limit and it is absolutely just, to put it not so kindly, it knocked me on my ass <laughs> again. and. You know, I told one of my friends, I was like, I feel like no matter how hard I work, no matter how bad I want something, I always fail. And, um, you know, every time I try to build something, it gets knocked over and I'm left with all these pieces to pick up and build all over again. Because every time I think I know what I'm doing, it all changes again, um, you know. It was nursing, no nursing, CNA, then maybe nursing. No, you can't do CNA, no, you can't do nursing, and now you can't do rat tech. And so I am left, you know, I'm 23 going on 24 this year. Um, I've been going to college since 2012, and I went straight from high school to college, so I have never known life without going to school. And despite that, I have an associate's degree, but I have no bachelor's, and I've got all of these credits I cannot use. And so I am stuck with feeling like I have wasted my time, and I've wasted all this money, I've wasted all this time, I have all the stuff I can't use. Um, and I want so badly just to move forward, to have a career, to know I'm going to be financially stable, um, to know that I'm going to be happy in the career that I want because, you know, the job that I have right now is what I need. It's the only thing that I'm physically capable of right now and it's got me back on my feet. It's got me to have, you know, health benefits. It it's giving me income, it's making me more stable, but I can't stand it. I can't stand this job. And I have, I give absolute props to anyone who works as a unit clerk of any kind, um, but it is a very thankless job and you get a lot of angry people who are not very nice to you. Um, on the phone because they're not face to face and so you kind of get beat up all day uh, by people who don't know you and um, it's really frustrating and it's probably more frustrating for me than for other people just because I feel like I get treated badly by you know my doctors and and the people around me that just aren't very accepting as far as chronic illness so it probably kind of presses my buttons um, but I'm not happy I don't want to be in this job any longer than I have to, um, but the fact that I can't do the Rad Tech program is really a big setback for me because it's too far in the semester for me to drop any of these classes without damaging my GPA, which means I have to continue taking these classes knowing full well I cannot use any of them. Um, 
and it's just kind of a reminder of what just another thing that I can't do which drives me insane um, and I am really at a loss as to what I want to do <laughs> um, it's quickly becoming clear that most of the clinical jobs that have always been a draw for me you know having that patient um, face to face time and and being a legitimate help to my patients I'm quickly realizing that every avenue I go down it requires me to lift more than 20 pounds and if I'm being perfectly honest the unit clerk job that I have the job requirement actually says that I need to lift up to 35 pounds occasionally um, and so I had to work with my um, disability resource um, unit with my work in order to even get around that but with these other jobs such as nursing or CNA or rad tech you cannot get around this weight limit and as someone who has always done sports who did karate and crew rowing and softball and um, volleyball you know I've always been very physically active and I've always thought of myself as a strong person so knowing I can lift these things and knowing I shouldn't lift these things is driving me bonkers and I really feel that I should adjust faster than I am but when you continuously run into things in your daily life um, that constantly remind you of something that you can't do it can be really frustrating like today I saw a waiter who was bussing a table and had a whole bunch of plates and cups and things on this you know platter and he lifts it up and he walks away and I think to myself I couldn't do that which means I couldn't have his job and so it's incredibly frustrating to be as young as I am and feel like my options are so narrow and it may be that I'm just a little narrow-minded and maybe I'm not thinking far enough outside the box but this is kind of my current mindset which is I'm 23 years old and I feel like I can't work any entry-level jobs because entry-level jobs tend to be pretty physical so I am stuck with the fact that I'm going to have to go back to school for something but it's what do I go back for and honestly I really don't know. Um, I feel like I've gone on this journey of constantly reinventing myself every time I'm met with an obstacle and I feel like I've done that pretty well and I feel like I've rolled with the punches pretty well and that I have made new plans as I've needed to but it is definitely frustrating that I am trying to launch the beginnings of a career you know working towards a career a new career for the third time fourth time in two years you know I feel like if someone keeps turning the uh, hourglass you know every time the sand is almost gone it gets switched around and I'm left making new plans again and all the work I'd put into my previous goal is out the window and so I feel like I'm just stuck working and working and working and working and just constantly pushing towards a goal and then having that goal change every five minutes um, and I'm sure absolutely sure that this has happened to you guys there's no way that it couldn't really you know most of us have lost a job uh, to dysautonomia or to CSF leaks most people have been restricted at a job most people have had problems getting a job uh, due to discrimination or they just don't want to hire you because you can't do everything that they want you to and so I know that what I'm feeling is something you guys can definitely um, understand and feel empathy for um, so I wanted to 
sharing my frustrations because I know that you guys probably feel the same thing. Um, but yeah, it was, I'm going to be honest, I absolutely cried. I was, you know, I, I was at work and I was really trying to hold it together, but it was still three hours before my shadowing was done. And I knew for a fact that I was shadowing for a job I couldn't have and I was going to have to sit for the next three hours shadowing for a job I couldn't have. And so I'd have to watch as I got more interested in a job I couldn't have. So it was absolute torture. <laughs> um, but I just, I don't know where to go from here. And it's terrifying. <laughs> I am at a point in my life where I really do, I want to be established. I want to have a career. I want to feel you know, financially stable. I want to feel like I can support myself on my own without help. I've never wanted the help in the first place, but I've been in a position where I really don't have a choice. Um, but I want to be financially stable. I want to be successful. I want to be happy in the job that I choose. And my fear is that I'm going to choose the wrong one because I feel that's my only option. And I know that if I'm not careful, I could do that. But at the same time, I feel like by worrying about it, I may cut myself off from jobs that I may possibly enjoy. Um, so I'm kind of caught in a conundrum of what to do next. Um, but I'll figure it out somehow, some way. Um, I'm going, I think I'm going to look into other avenues that are maybe less patient oriented, which just drives me bonkers. But at this point, um, that's kind of where I'm at. And I know myself well enough to know that I'm not a desk job kind of girl. It will drive me insane. And I do not want to be financially stable so badly that I'm willing to make myself miserable because then the point is defeated in the end anyways. Um, so I'm thinking that I may look into maybe a lab scientist or, or something kind of along those lines where there isn't a lot of lifting or twisting or that sort of thing. Um, I'm not sold on any jobs right now only because the job change is new because I just learned this past Saturday that everything I've been working towards for the last couple of months is useless. Um, but I will update you guys as I kind of narrow down my options. I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to go back, well not go back to school because I never left. Um, I may have to switch schools because I'm currently going to a community college. I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to go to the university in my hometown this next semester and maybe go for a bachelor's of some kind for whatever career I'm planning on going into. Um, but yeah, the plan has changed again. <laughs> um, and it's not all bad and I know it's frustrating at the moment and that everything will work out it's just this is one of those things where when you are in the moment it's just very uncomfortable and you just want it to be over with and you just don't want to be in the position you're in which is you know fear of the unknown again <laughs> um but yes so Rad tech is scrapped. We're going back to the drawing board. And I think we're going to investigate some kind of science-y, less patient-oriented avenue. Unless I can find something that really interests me that I feel is within my physical limitations. So, um... And, yeah, so, that weight limit, my cat 
Cats are insane. Holy cow. I think they just tried to climb out the door. Um, yeah, as far as limitations go, the weight limit is a frustration because um, there are so, so many things that are over 20 pounds. But at the same time, I have struggled so much with the leaks that I have currently that I have yet to patch. Uh, I'm going to be going in for a fibrin patch instead of a blood patch on March 26th. So it's already taken so much just to get to this point that my fear of creating another leak is really um, limiting my job prospects simply because I don't think that it's worth pushing that limit too much um, if it means going through this process of fixing a leak. So I'm really doing my best to stick with the restrictions given to me. Um, so we shall see. It will be an adventure. Um, and I will keep you guys as updated as I can. So I will see you in the next video.